this purely and simply because the alternative was horrendous. And although I'm not going to say Donald Trump is the wonderful thing and the saviour, I will say that had we you know, seen another person vote, which is Clinton, that would have been total disaster. So let's give the American people some credit here. The American people actually went and voted for an option that was the best option on the table. It doesn't mean that it was um, the one that they would choose straight away, but when they looked at what they had to vote on, they actually, in the majority decision, went for the least painful option. So well done to you guys for doing that. Let's look at Standing Rock. Um, we shouldn't forget that Donald Trump has an important say in the companies that are in, on that. And I can say that he did uh, have a big part to play in pulling out some of the uh, drive to, to make that happen. No doubt the people who were very brave and went and joined the indigenous populations and those indigenous people and those um, Westerners or other Asian people that came in and stood shoulder to shoulder with them brought in the media, that created something that these very greedy corporates couldn't deal with. So, you know, God bless them, well done. And when all the, uh, the bison came and um, a buffalo came to, to join the people, then that's the planet acting. So that was great that the black snake has been stopped. Now, if it's been stopped permanently, I'm not sure, but the fact that that's occurred now um, is a very positive ending. We've got a time now between now and what we call the holiday period, Christmas, where I do not expect any sudden uh, disasters. The big corporates in the Western world make all their money now, and nobody in the elite is going to rock the boat. And there is the difference between a big corporation breaking even or going under. So the amount of money these people make in the Christmas period will keep them afloat. So all the elite have agreed that they want to keep the, the train running for this period of time. So that, that's what, what we should expect to see. Come the new year, January 2017, they no longer have that focus. Uh, I'm not the only one, but I'm certainly one of the, the, the early uh, declarers on this, where January, February and March, we'll see the much vaunted collapse that many people for many years have been uh, trying to warn people about. I believe that uh, the, the Paggio Bank in Italy will be the first one to perhaps call in what we call a bail-in. That's where they raid people's bank accounts. And they say it's quite legal. I think it's stealing, but it's called a bail-in. I think that's what will happen. I think that uh, we will see a collapse in Italy financially. I think we'll see a financial collapse in the States and I think we'll see one in Britain. Now that could be anything from a devaluation of 20% to 50% of that currency. Um, and what was really interesting was that for British people, online, that's the online version of the Daily Express newspaper, which is not just a, an establishment newspaper, it's a, an establishment newspaper very closely linked to the elite. Um, the, the guy who went and did a report on Adolf Hitler dying in 1945 <clears throat> had close links with both the Daily Express newspaper and the, the Mail newspaper. So it's a mouthpiece for the elite and they carried a half a page article saying that there was a massive banking crash. Now they actually went for March, they've been agreeing. They said March of this year to come there'll be a huge financial collapse. Half a page given to it. And we have to ask ourselves, why would the elite uh, allow, and he wouldn't go unless it was allowed, why would they allow uh, such a, a statement to be made, which is the sort of statement that I would be making on the alternative news. Why is the establishment now actually copying it? And the reason is that they're trying to slow down the stock exchange. Because the more the stock exchange expands between now and March, the greater the collapse. And this article in the Daily Express newspaper actually said it was a once in a lifetime crash that was coming and it would be like 1929, 1930, the Wall Street crash. So here at last, finally, is an established newspaper printing something that I and others have been warning about. 
and they're actually agreeing I've said always February to March but they're actually coming out in March so we have a situation where um, everyone's agreeing now that there's a collapse coming so that's that's for January February March please keep your eye on that in terms of what's going on in Antarctica uh, we know that Buzz Aldrin uh, very celebrated uh, astronaut and uh, went there and there was uh, a tweet from him whether that was him or someone else on his behalf basically the tweet said something along the lines that he'd been to hollow earth or inner earth for a meeting and it's all evil down there something along those lines we knew that the uh, vice president uh, was actually dispatched to uh, to Iceland uh, and then from Iceland through to, to, to Antarctica and also understand that he'd been part of a meeting as well and we touched on this I think previously where there is a and there has been a very important uh, call it a round table meeting between off-planet entities and the controllers of the planet that meeting has not gone well for the controllers of the planet not gone well at all uh, on the 19th of this month, I think that's tomorrow, I might be right in saying that there's a, a very important date for the Americans. I think that, um, I don't know the terminology, but where all the representatives from the different states come and then they vote uh, in accordance to the way that the public voted uh, so that, for instance, a particular American state might have four votes for Clinton and six votes for Trump. And so that's the official way that it's done. And I don't know the terminology for that. But I understand that there's going to be some form of, um, again, an, an English word, skullduggery. Um, the Clintons might attempt to try something. I think it's very unlikely they can get away with it because when, like in Brit exit, when the people vote for something, if those in charge then say, we disregard what you've said, then the, the citizenry will turn around and say, then what is the point of having a government? What is the point of having a vote? If you're not going to listen to what we say or want, then we might as well reject all forms of authority. And it's for that reason that the British government have to honour Britexit. And that's why they have to honour the election of Donald Trump, no matter how much the elite dislike him or hate him, it has to go ahead. So. I think we're going to go into 2017 stronger than when we came into 2016. I think what we've seen is the human race saying we've had enough and we're beginning to show our, not displeasure, but the way we wish to see things going. We wish to see development. So um, looking back on, on the year, JP is correct, it's been quite rough. Uh, we've been saved from the brink several times. But each time, we've seen advances. And, you know, if, if the elite weren't in a real pickle, they wouldn't be fighting in the way they are. And the reason they're fighting the way they are is because slowly but surely their fingernails are being clawed off, holding on to, 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 to the ship. So I'm positive. I don't think it's negative. I think it's incredibly positive. And we're going into the new year uh, with a lot of hope and a lot of love. All right, before we start with the questions, um, JP did pose me a question, it was very long, and it's from Rose. I'm gonna just deal with that question now because it's really important. Rose was um, saying that um, she had a, an idea for helping poverty, for breaking people away from the trap of money. And what she was saying in her question, it was more of a statement, although there was a question at the end of it, was maybe if you arrested uh, all the bad people in the Vatican, um, you know, she mentioned the Bilderbergers, and you took all the money off them, and then you had like a, like a sort of a, not a credit card, but a debit card, and then you could give money to the people who needed it, the ordinary people. In other words, use all this evil money to support um, society. And she was sort of asking, and posing the question, well, would this work? Or am I just dreaming this, you know, or, or could it have a basis in reality? And I wanted to, to make that public, what she said, 
because I think it's a wonderful statement and I just want to give my, my view on that. Um, when money was created, a spell was put on it so that it didn't just act as a, a form of exchange, it was like a drug uh, and it got into the system, it got into people's lives and it got into the psyche and it really infected people like a virus. There will come a time when people who have done evil deeds will have to decide to apologize for that or go down fighting, one or two. And the assets that they have should be distributed amongst those that most need it. But there's a bigger thing than that, which is at the moment, under the present system, uh, a huge amounts, untold amounts of money taken legitimately or illegitimately as taxes from the people are being used to uh, maintain organizations and projects which the public, A, have no knowledge of generally, and B, would be disgusted if they did know. And when that stops, there will be a massive amount of money suddenly that is left at the end of the year which can be used. You know, why is it that so much of American infrastructure is, is, tr is crumbling, bridges falling, um, uh, municipal buildings in terrible state, the, the sidewalks with holes in, the roads with holes in, the streetlights not working, and yet uh, money is going to secret space programs, money is going to um, gang stalking of, of individuals, uh, surveillance uh, technology, um, the most incredible amounts of money being taken away from taxpayers without their agreement, without their knowledge, and used for no other aspect than to control the citizens of those respective countries. And that has got to stop. So if we can stop that, and we can then um, get this money that's been brought in or uh, gained by very evil means, if that can then be purified, then that becomes good money, if you like, and be, can be used for good. But that's only part of the problem. Money is a problem. And this, as far as I know, and as far as I'm concerned, from my own personal experience, this is the only planet in the multiverse that I am aware of that actually uses money. Every other civilization that I have had experience of uses barter and trade. They do not use money. And give an example here. Uh, let's say, for instance, I have a statue, and I've got two of these statues, and I don't want it. So I say, oh, I, I, I'll exchange this statue, and you've got something that I want. But maybe what you want and what I want doesn't equally balance in terms of energy. So maybe you want two statues, but I've only got the one that I'm prepared to trade. So I would be required to give you something extra on top of that statue. So what I might do is say, um, you know, under the present system is, okay, well, I've got pounds or dollars and I'll make the, the, the extra up like that. But we need to get away from that. So what we need to be able to do is to say, well, I've got this that I can do for you, or I can um, bring this about for you. Now, you know, it, it could be quite simple, like I'm, I'm a, a, a doctor dentist and I'll do some dental treatment, but we're not all doctors and dentists. So there may be other things in terms of energy that we can bring. And so this is the exchange um, system which we had on this planet. That's how it was all done until the Anunnaki and those prior to them came here and started to control the population by introducing a monetarized exchange system. And we need as a planet urgently to get away from the money system and move to a barter and trade system like every other planet. So that's know. really what I wanted to say, um, and just to say to everyone, because I know at the end we, we always run out of time, that it's been an absolute privilege to have the opportunity through JP's uh, really wonderful radio station to have spent this year uh, speaking to people, talking to people, um, and we are so lucky that the elite haven't pulled the plug on this. Um, I know for a fact that uh, in America at the moment uh, they're seriously looking at curtailing anything that is a, uh, an alternative view to the official. They've always talked about it, but I know it's really on the table now. Hillary Clinton has been saying that uh, it lost her the election. 
well that's nonsense but nevertheless that's what she's saying and you know that, that what they'd like to do is to close every radio station down that was giving the truth and just have their own so I'm so grateful that I've had the opportunity to to speak to people I'm so grateful that I've been allowed to um, give the information that I've been able to give um, and I'm, I'm so grateful for people for being so so human so strong so clear thinking and loving and no matter what these evil people throw at us we know that we can make it we can actually get through and we can do it but we can do it together if we work as individuals it's not as effective so we need to understand the tricks that the other side use and we need to work together so that's it so with that jp let's go on with the questions well there's a couple of, couple of things i want to add um what one of them is uh, we've had a lot of uh, fake Simon Parks uh, uh, YouTube accounts. So, brothers and sisters, if you're listening to this and there are adverts every five or ten minutes, then you're not listening to Studio Nine Jam, uh, which is the official. <laughs> I, I, it's a long story why it's called Studio Nine Jam. Uh, why my you know, but it's a kind of traditional thing, and I couldn't rename it. Anyway, so that's my. Um, my official channel, Studio Nine Jam, uh, which is where you'll find all the original Simon Parks uh, Connecting Consciousness shows, as well as other things like the Rolling Stones transmission. So that's the that's the first one. Um, and then there was another one, which is completely escaped. Oh yes, that's right. Um, during the uh, the Standing Rock protest, because a large number of people gathered together, Simon. They actually created a new Ubuntu society spontaneously. Um, this is this is uh, we have boots on the ground. Uh, the the gentleman who has a show next week at this in this same slot, Audrey Ewers, um, is uh, there and he's been right. observing. I mean, it, it was been funny because he's been talking about we really need to set up Ubuntu societies, uh, and then he goes to Standing Rock, and that's what's happening. Uh, so it's actually, it's it's a thing that is, it's going to be the beginning of something, I believe. It's it's like a, a crystal seed crystal that will then crystallize out to uh, through the consciousness. So anyway, that's what I had to say. So, that's good. 